Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today we're gonna make over some items, and we're gonna start with these pictures. Uh, these pictures are, uh, we've been redoing my bathroom, and these pictures are gonna go in there, but I need to change them up before I do that, so I'm just gonna take the back off and take that um, needle point out of it. That's an actual needle point inside and I really like the look of that but I'm going to change that up just a little bit so um, I'm, I'm not crazy about gold frames so uh, I'm cleaning these with alcohol so that I can paint them so after I clean them with alcohol I take them outside and I spray paint them with some brown spray paint uh, and the only reason I do that is because I want a base coat to distress down to and obviously I don't want to distress down to that gold. So these little uh, fabric pieces are just taped in there and so I just pull those out and although I think these are really pretty I need to change the color up somewhat and I know that sounds odd uh, but this blue that is in here just little bits of blue uh, I want to change to a different color of blue. So uh, I'm actually gonna paint them. So the color that I'm using in this vignette again, because uh, some of this is gonna go in my bathroom also, is the color sea glass. And the blue that's in these flowers isn't that color and I'm afraid it will clash. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that sea glass on a small paintbrush and work it into some of these flowers. So obviously the blue ones are gonna be the sea glass blue, uh, but I'm still gonna leave some of the shading. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my brush and just kind of work it into it. And then there's another little flower in the other one that I can add just a touch there in and, um, and make it go also. And that's all that I want to change these up because I do like the look of them. I just want to change the colors enough to where uh, it will go with my decor. And I don't feel like I have to add much to do that. So it's easy to tell on this one where I need to add my color. And like I said, I'm going to leave a lot of that shading. So um, if I were to paint it in solid, it, it would take away from, uh, from the detail that's in it. So I'm just gonna add just enough here and there to where you can see this color. I just wanna add touches of this color to my bathroom. So like I said, I don't wanna overdo it. And then the matte in this picture is also gonna be the sea glass. And like I said, with this one, I'm just gonna add to these little flowers here on the end, and I think that will be enough to bring it together. So I want my frames to be the buttercream that I'm adding in that room, so um, I'm just gonna paint these um, mats in the color sea glass, and they're just gonna need one coat because they're covering well, and then once they dry, I'm going to put just a little bit of a print on them because I don't want them to be solid, solid like this, but I don't want them to, um, to have any kind of pattern that competes with the art that's inside. So once I get these covered and let them dry, I'm going to do uh, my little stenciling trick that I learned with eyeshadow and just put a faint little pattern on these. And so I'm doing this in the color white, um, well, a shade of white. It's hard to find white eyeshadow, but there was one in this palette. So I'm just using one of my, uh, my stencils that I use with these, and I'll try to link this one in the, in the description. And this particular one actually comes with about four or five different stencils with different patterns on them. And I'm not worrying about lining my stencils up just right to uh, make the patterns flow together when I move my stencil over because this is going to be such a faint design on here that it isn't going to matter. You're not going to notice it at all. It's just going to give uh, some 
some dimension to the color so that it's not just that um, just that solid blue color so this adds just enough uh, texture to the color that I was real happy with how this turned out I know it's hard to tell in this to see that um, the difference that much but it really did it's a subtle difference but it, it is enough difference that I think it was necessary to do now I could have dipped my brush in a white ink pad and it would have shown up a little bit more but me personally I didn't want that I wanted this to be more of a um, more of a subtle look and now like I said I took these frames outside and I spray painted them brown and it really doesn't matter what color of brown you use you can just use some dark color underneath and now i'm putting candle wax on these i'm actually using a candle melt and i feel like it's softer and it gets more of the candle wax residue on there so i just kind of rub that in places before i do my painting and then i'm going to use uh, that a Dixie Belle color buttercream that I use a lot uh, many of you know that and um, I'm gonna uh, paint two coats of the color buttercream and then once that dries um, I'm not gonna do the scraping that some people do when they use this candle wax method I just wanted my paint to come off easily when I went to rub it off with uh, a damp cloth because if I were to use a scraper on these, it would it would scrape too much off. And also, uh, because I've just put one coat of this spray paint on here and I didn't let it dry overnight, uh, then I feel like it will scrape down to that gold too easily. So that's why I'm just going to rub this with the damp cloth. Uh, but I didn't want to have to rub too hard and rub through the other paint. So uh, that's why I wanted to use the candle wax on it. But I give these two coats of this paint and then I let it dry well and then I use uh, just a damp cloth and rub it, um, rub some of the paint away where I want the distress. My walls are white in that bathroom and they're gonna stay white. So I thought about putting the sea glass on the frame and then I thought about maybe uh, adding some glaze after I did this, uh, after I painted this buttercream on here. Uh, but I just decided in the end that I wanted these to be white. I may change my mind once I put them on the wall, but if I do, I'll just repaint them then. So after I get these finished, then I do spray them with uh, clear matte finish because uh, chalk paint has to be sealed. And then I'm ready to put the uh, needle point back in it. So I just fit these uh, where they need to be and then I tape them in the back with just some masking tape. And then I put them back in and bend those little nails back over and um, actually there's a piece of uh, wood that goes behind these and then I bend those little nails back over and then these will be complete. And I really like how this needle point looks with this color of matting and then when you uh, put it in those white frames I think it really has a pretty look. And I'm really hoping that these white frames work out because I don't really know at this point what other color I would like as well as this. And then for the next item, I found these wall hangings and uh, didn't get the footage where I painted them. They were plastic and they were gold. And I'll show you the third one that I didn't use uh, since I missed where I painted those. But um, as you can see, it's plastic. And I just give these a couple of coats of that same color of buttercream and then let them dry well. And um, I decided not to distress these because I didn't want that gold to come through. And 
decided to use a um, that Van Dyke brown glaze on these and that's a Dixie Belle glaze. Um, I sprayed these with a clear coat first because I was afraid that it would take too dark and it's a good thing that that I did because I honestly think that it took darker than I really wanted it to take. So uh, I didn't plan on putting these in my bathroom and I definitely won't, won't be using them because they're going to be too dark but I do think that they turn out pretty in the end, but not exactly what I had in mind. So I'm hoping that these sell like this. Uh, if not, then I'll just repaint them. Uh, and if I have to repaint them, I'll just have to put a dark color on them and let that dry well and then use uh, the light color over the top and distress down to that. But, um, I mean, I think these turned out pretty. I just am not uh, a fan of them being as dark as they turn out. So, uh, I'll put them out to sell. And, like I said, if they don't sell, then I'll worry about redoing them later. But they definitely won't work in, in my bathroom. And, like I said, I didn't paint that third one because... Uh, I just wanted to do a set of two. Um, I think it would be hard to sell a set of three. And then the flower is more of a um, tropical flower on the third one. So that's why I decided not to paint it. And then for the next item, um, I thrifted this little tray. And I will be using this in my bathroom. And uh, it had this decoupage on it. Um, and so what I did was I just took this outside and I used my orbital sander on it and just sanded it as smooth as I could so that that little raised edge would be smoother. And now I'm giving this two coats of the Color Seat Glass. One coat covered pretty well and uh, may not have needed a second coat, but I, just to be safe, I went ahead and put a second coat on it. And also, adding a second coat uh, helped to cover that little, um, so you couldn't tell that there was that decoupage on it, if that makes sense. Uh, adding that extra coat kept you from being able to see that at all. And then once I get a couple of coats on this and let it dry, uh, most of the items that I'm putting in my bathroom with this color are going to be muted down with some uh, antique glaze so I used that same Van Dyke brown antiquing glaze on this but first I did spray it with a clear coat because I didn't want to take a chance on it taking too brown so like I said once this gets covered and I let it dry and put that clear wax on it then I did go over it with that uh, glaze and I like the color that I got but I wanted something on the inside. So I had this lace transfer from Dixie Belle and, and decided to just put that on the inside of it. Um, I was uncertain when I did this if it was going to be a look that I liked. Uh, but I cut it and did it anyway. And I did, didn't really care for it. So, um, so I put this on and once I determined that I don't really care for the look of it, then, um, I took it outside and again, I used my sander on it and just gave it a really good sanding. And that, uh, that muted it down somewhat uh, you could still see it but it muted it down and then i decided to do some more layering over the top with some stenciling so i guess today is the day for making mistakes because uh, there was uh, two items here that i really wasn't happy with how they turned out now this one, I won't say that I wasn't happy with how it turned out. I wasn't happy with how this step turned out. Uh, but then I managed to get it to look the way I want it to in the end. 
the main thing is I wanted it to look old and I didn't I didn't want it to look like it was just done and um, so I, I did manage to get that look uh, but like I said I wasn't happy with how this lace turned out it had more of a gray look if it had been more of a white look then I'm I might would have liked it uh, but I just I didn't care for it the way it looked on this color So like I said once I once I determined that I don't like it then I just took it outside sanded it and um, And then I decided to do some stenciling So I used this same stencil that I used in a recent video on a little chair and I'm just gonna do this in uh, the color buttercream um, so I put this on here and, and I was thinking that the that the buttercream would work out good and it, it did but it needed toned down so then I just went over just uh, just the uh, top of this tray with some more of the brown glaze and then I ended up being happy with how it turned out and because this stencil doesn't cover the whole area then I just kind of move it around and till I get enough of the stencil on there. And it really doesn't have to be perfect because like I said, I'm gonna be adding some glaze to it. And then we have the pattern underneath. So um, it's, it's just more about texture or not necessarily texture, more about dimension in the color. But I like that stencil, and like I said, once I go over it with the brown wax, it just makes it look more aged, and I really like how it turned out. And then for the last item, I found this little uh, jewelry box, and it's just a little plastic jewelry box. I know that you've seen these in this color, um, and I think it's really cute, uh, and I'll, I'll probably put it in my bathroom somewhere. So because of that, I want it to match. And all I'm going to do is just, uh, I've mixed half clear wax, uh, with probably half of that, of this same color of sea glass. And if you haven't tried to, uh, make your own wax colors, uh, you can take a clear wax and add any color of paint uh, and then it will make that color of wax so all i'm doing is just taking a small kind of rough brush so that i can get down in all those creases and just give this a good coat of this wax that i've mixed up and then i just wipe it off and then what happens is you wipe it off all the high areas and then uh, the color settles down into the low areas, and I really like the way this turned out. So it has the color without having too much of the color, and like I said, it really brings out all that detail. And I'm not going to bother painting the inside because, like I said, this is just plastic, and that's just smooth on the inside. It wouldn't take anything anyway. So I just do this on the outside and wipe it down good and then this one will be complete and i had some people ask and i will be um, doing a tour of my bathroom once i get it finished i don't know how long that will be because uh, we don't really have a whole lot of time these days but uh, as soon as we can get it finished then i will do a tour of that and some of these items that you've seen me uh, make over to go in there. Some may not end up in there once I once I get everything put together. It may or may not work. So uh, I'll, we'll just see what all makes it to that video. And I really like how this one turned out. This was the last item that I'll be doing. And um, like I said, I think it really changed that one up a lot. So as you can see there, those wall hangings were much darker than I had anticipated. And, and like I said, I, I hope that they end up selling. If they don't, then I'll just do them over. 
but the other items I was happy with. And you can see that subtle design there in that matting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless you and your family.